Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today we have part two of my empties. My empties were just so massive that I had to split them up into two parts. This I have like a lot of skincare, body care, hair care, miscellaneous, and a few like makeup and other things that were featured in my last part of my empties. I just want to get rid of all these empties and start fresh. For my next one and I thought why not start with those like things that I found that I just need to get rid of. We have like one more gum empty the Trident Minty Sweet Twist gum again is one of my favorites. Now on to like some final makeup that I'm either that I'm getting rid of that's just like it's either old or I'll never use it or it's completely empty. First thing is this ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Chi. I don't know if you guys can see that. You won't be able to see it, but it's like this huge glob at the end of it. I've just had this lip color for way too long, but here it is right here. It is a pretty shade, but, and I never really reached for it either. Another lip color that I have featured on my channel quite a lot is the elf lip gloss in the shade scott how long i have had this for is kind of embarrassing this is just like a peachy nude lip gloss i got it with it was on sale don't know if they still sell this but i will have everything that i mentioned in today's video linked in a google doc that is linked down below for you it's starting to smell off and that's how you know products are just not good anymore but i loved this gloss i have two concealers in my drugstore full face of drugstore makeup i used i technically used both these concealers but they're completely gone first is the maybelline fit me concealer in the shade fair this is a little bit too dark for me and I remember it being light enough for my skin tone. I don't know why I'm swatching concealer. Yeah, this is one of my all-time favorite drugstore concealers, especially if you're going for that more natural look. And then another one is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour Concealer in the shade C2. This is my second tube that I have gone through and I just can't get any more product out so that's how you know it's gone and you can't really get enough product out anyways it's a good affordable concealer out of the two i prefer the maybelline over the makeup revolution but the next product was featured in my makeup i don't really use video first of all it's a bitch to open and i can't open it so i can't like fully swatch it or anything but it's the Peak Black Eye Primer. It's literally a black primer. Unless you're doing a smoky look, this doesn't really work out. I use it in the products that I don't use. And even with like a nude primer on top, you could still see it. It's not something that I want in like an everyday situation. This blush and highlight duo. It's the Ulta Apricot Blush and Yellow Diamond Highlighter. I'm pretty sure they sell these singly. Here's the highlight. Not really big in the highlight and the blush right underneath. They don't really have a lot of pigment and they're kind of chalky in my opinion. I never reach for it. So this is going bye bye. And I've had this forever. I'm finally getting rid of makeup that I've had for so long that they don't even sell it anymore. This is it also another product that I featured in my products that I don't use anymore video. And this is the Ulta eyeshadow palette in the shade Nearly Nude. I got it because it reminded me of the Naked Basics palette, the original. And I'm kind of glad I purchased this instead of the Naked Basics palette because I've realized I don't reach for this type of palette. If I'm going for like a natural look, kind of like I am right now, I just put bronzer in the crease, mascara, and call it a day. But here are them swatched. The bottom two shades, you can't even see. They're super patchy. I don't ever reach for this. I have cream bronzer, the temp 2 bronzer, and warm glow. This is just way 
too old. I think I like used this around when I started my channel. And I mean like it's a pretty bronzer, like cream bronzer. It blends out beautifully. And swatching all these, I can tell that they're so old because my hand is getting irritated. I, this is part of like an airbrush system, but I just put it on the back of my hand to use my bronzer, cream bronzer brush. I have one specifically, put it in like the bronzer, bronzing points. Last thing is like something I've never used. I'm never going to use it. They're the Huda Beauty lashes in the style Scarlet. I was about to wear it in like my black and gold makeup look. And if I wasn't gonna wear it with that, then I wouldn't wear it whatsoever. These I can see myself wearing them like if I was competing, but I don't compete anymore. I do wanna try some Huda Beauty lashes. Just these ones are a little bit too dramatic for my liking. Now that we've gone through all like the makeup stuff, time to go into this big bucket that I have right next to me. Finished a candle. Well, I burnt through a candle. This is the White Barn Georgia Peach Scented Candle. Fragrance notes are juicy peaches, dew-covered leaves, a hint of vanilla with essential oils. I love anything peach scented or just anything peach in general. This just reminds me of like spring and summer because that's when I would burn it. Love. Two of the Mario Badescu 8, 8 ounce facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. This doesn't tell you how much I love it. I don't know what does. I have one backup and then when those go on to hot look, that's where I purchase mine because I get them for like $20 or maybe even cheaper. The Neutrogena Naturals Fresh Cleansing and makeup remover. I use face washes like this to remove my makeup in the shower and anywhere else. I double cleanse so I'll use it to get off all the makeup and then I'll go in to fully wash my face at night. Would I repurchase it again? I would but right now no. Always check on the bottom of your bottles or wherever. Just look on your bottles to see if they can be recycled because you know we want to save our planet which is why I have I actually got some metal straws for Christmas. A dry shampoo, the Dub for uh, Refresh and Care Detox and Purify Dry Shampoo. This was a good shampoo. I just prefer my Not Your Mother's one, kind of similar. But if I have a coupon for this, I'll purchase it. Other than that, I'll just repurchase my Not Your Mother's because you get more for your money and plus it's like cheaper. And another Dove Dry Shampoo. Travel size of the volume and fullness. Good dry shampoo to travel with. The full size one can be recycled, but the travel size can't. Can someone please tell me why that is? The conditioner, the Aloxy Color Rich Treatment Mask. I saw this on sale at a hair professional place. I just could have used it to use it. This is like if I do use a color besides bleach beforehand, before things happen, before I started going to Sally's. I really like the Aloxy brand and this is cruelty free. I wouldn't repurchase it. Another candle, the Yankee Watermelon Days. I got this at Ross for like five bucks. I burnt this in my in my bathroom. I finished one of my uh, sugar body scrubs. This is actually my brand, Sassy Beauty. This is the container that it comes in. I've kind of like beaten mine up. I always have Sassy Beauty linked in the bottom bar, but I'll also link exactly where you can go get this in the Google Doc. If you just rinse out these containers, recycle them. It's great. Another cleanser, the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Hydrating Facial Cleanser. Really, really like this in the mornings or I used to use this to like take off my makeup. I don't really wash my face in the mornings because I'm in such a rush, but I have repurchased this multiple of times. When I had my pink hair, I, th I only had it for like one video and that was my test and dupes makeup video. I used this hair color. I just mix a little bit with some Pantene conditioner, which I probably have in here. And this is the Beyond the Zone Rock On Permanent Hair Color. Hooray for rosé. Didn't realize this was permanent, but I used it anyway. And if you mix it with conditioner and with a little bit of developer with this one personally, it'll last for a few washes and then it'll wash right out. And if you use um, a detoxifying shampoo, which I probably have in here too, the hair dye will come out a lot quicker. 
when I dye my hair pink again because I want to again because pink hair is my favorite hair color that I've done besides like my blonde. This is the one that I will repurchase. I tried another one and it just did not work for my hair. Toothpaste, this is the toothpaste I use, the Crest 3D White toothpaste in the Arctic Fresh scent. Get travel sizes of these and it actually has helped whiten my teeth a little bit. I don't use the Crest White strips but I used to have super yellow teeth when I was younger and I think using that toothpaste has helped get rid of the yellowness. I still have some yellowness but it's not as bad. I have like the full size and the baby size of like everything. This is like, everything is from when I went traveling because I went traveling a lot last year. I had the full size and the, ba and the baby size, the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo, the original. This is also the same thing. The big one can be recycled, but the little one can't. Two deodorants. The, they're the same thing. The Dove Advanced Care Invisible deodorant in sheer cool. I've like switched from like my secret to this because it works but better for me. I also have a travel size of the Secret Lux Lavender one. This is an okay scent. Um, I really like the rose one, but that's just if I'm like, I just want to like a little scent to my deodorant, then I'll use like Secret the Clear Gel one. Other than that, I go for the Dove. I have another hair color. This is like the hair color that I do use. And toner, like this is a brand, the Ion, I'm pretty sure. This is the Bright Slime Semi-Permanent Hair Color Intensive Shine in the shade Smoky Amethyst. I would mix this in with like my purples or just use it alone to like just and add some like coolness to my hair. I am constantly dyeing my hair because I always want a new change and I feel like that's the best way for me to like get a new change is by switching up my hair. This. Finished a uh, Bath and Body Works uh, Fine Fragrance Mist in the scent Warm Vanilla Sugar. My favorite, like, warm scent. I have used that scent for what feels like forever. Some vitamins, the Adult Gummy Energy by B12. I have now switched to, like, dissolvable ones, but why did I smell it? But I do like these. I should probably take my vitamins more frequently, but these Ulta uh, oil-free eye, make eye makeup remover pads. Never used them, never will. So they're going bye-bye. The John Frieda Sheer Blonde Go Blonder Lightning Conditioner. No. Would it repurchase? You have to use it with like the, like the system. And I actually just don't care for the system. I prefer my purple shampoo and conditioner to keep my hair blonde. <coughs> the simple micellar facial wash. I wouldn't repurchase this. It just wasn't like a con great consistency for me personally. And I didn't really see like any like hydrating boosting, like any hydrating boosting power. I alternate between face washes so much that like if I like find something that I love, who you know it's a holy grail. Up and up oil free makeup remover. I repurchase this no matter what the brand is. Equate, Neutrogena, Up and Up. Just need eye makeup remover especially after like one of those days where like you can't get off the eyeliner or like mascara or the Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink like lipsticks yeah i need to use this to take it off nothing else will work this is a shave cream that i use they actually changed their packaging you get a lot less for the same price not very happy about that but i still get it because it's my favorite organics renewing plus argan oil of morocco shampoo and conditioner it was good what I repurchased, Canteen Daily Moisture Renewal Conditioner. I have two of these. This is what I use with my crazy hair colors. I always add it with conditioner because when I was first dyeing my hair crazy colors, my mom didn't really know how to and she's the one that does my hair. She bleaches it, she does everything with it. And so I was YouTubing, Googling everything and they said to mix it with conditioner. Find that this is the best. It's also a great conditioner if you're just getting for a conditioner. These are like the two like detoxifying shampoos that I use. Like this I originally got because I, as you guys know, I suffer with 
acne on my shoulders and my back and I saw on Pinterest that this works for it. No. I mean it could be that this is a shampoo and conditioner and I just need the straight shampoo. It didn't really work. This is the one with peppermint and tea tree. It's not my favorite detoxifying shampoo. Probably because it isn't. It's for dandruff. And I don't really have dandruff so. This however I have repurchased this since the big since I first heard someone talk about this, I have purchased it. This is the Garnier Pure Clean Fortifying Shampoo. I love this stuff. I use it once a week, only once a week or else my hair. My hair needs that moisture because this, I have pretty, like this is my natural hair color. I need the moisture, but I need to get also get out like all the gunk out of it. And I love this. The Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Fortifying Conditioner. I used this traveling. I have a lot of other tra travel shampoo and conditioners that I prefer, but for a while I was repurchasing this brand, this line for travel shampoo and conditioner. But now I actually have the travel size of the Pantene one, a Briogeo charcoal one and a different brand of purple shampoo and conditioner. I just take whatever I'm feeling like that that trip. I have like two body washes and then we are done. First I have repurchased this since the Garnier shampoo. Like that's how long I have like my holy grail showering products and this is one. The Neutrogena Body Clear Body Wash love this it's a salicylic acid treatment if i did not use this my shoulders would be worse than they are today and the last thing is this body wash the tone mango splash cocoa butter and papaya moisturizing body wash i like it i prefer suave but right now i'm using dub because in the winter i get really dry skin yeah but that is literally everything that was in my bin if you guys like this video go ahead and subscribe to my channel or give it a thumbs up or both if you guys have any very requests you can leave them in the comments down below or at me on my social media which is all under sassy yt same as spelled here both twitter and instagram go follow my beauty instagram sassy beauty as well as go shop sassy beauty which everything will be in the description box below and other than that i'll talk to you guys in my next video